Hi. I want to discuss about the question 7 of worksheet number 3 in chapter 11. Um, a lot of people ask me the question, how do we do it? Well, the first question that we should ask yourself is, uh, we should ask ourselves is, do you understand the entire problem? Well, the, the problem ask, well, says that um, there is an impure sample of potassium nitrate. Uh, it is 38.4 grams. Okay, it's listed in the problem. And then it asks you what's the percentage of the pure potassium nitrate in the sample. So you have to really understand what the question is asking in order to get the right answer. So I would like to use a pie chart to express the idea. So imagine this is the entire sample, which is the 38.4 grams. Now, part of it, a small part of it, hopefully, small part of it is the impurity, are the impurities. We don't know what it is. But from the question, it says that there's no reaction by the impurities. All the reaction that happened in the, in the problem will be just from the pure potassium nitrate. Now, based on the problem, we can write a balanced equation of the, of the, uh, of the, of the decomposition reaction. It says that the potassium nitrate would decompose to potassium nitrite, KNO2, and O2. Now we can also balance the uh, equation. So we'll put a 2 here, a 2 right here to balance the equation. Now we have the balance equation, but the most important thing is you we really understand this concept uh, that we have pure potassium nitrate in the sample. Now, what would the potassium nitrate do? Well, if you really understand the question, the pure potassium nitrate will decompose and it will produce potassium nitrite and oxygen gas. Now, we are given information about the oxygen gas. As you can see here, I put a list right here. It, the problem gives you the, uh, the volume, which is th 3 liters of oxygen gas. The temperature is 49 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is 810 torr. So if we really want to find out how may, what's the percentage of this pure potassium nitrate, the first thing that we have to think about is, well, how many grams are here? How many grams of potassium nitrate is in this entire sample? And if we want to find out the grams of potassium nitrate, well, we better find out how many moles of potassium nitrate, because that that ultimately that ultimately would determine the mass of the potassium nitrate. Now, how do we find out the number of moles of potassium nitrate? You can find out the potassium the moles of potassium nitrate by using stoichiometry because we have some information about O2 and it may help us to find out how many moles of potassium nitrate that we have we, we have to find. Now do we have the moles of oxygen? Well it's not explicitly given. But how can we find it out? Well with the volume, temperature and pressure we can definitely use the ideal gas law. To find out the moles of oxygen, because we are given the pressure, we are given the volume, we are given the temperature, and we know what the R is. So the only thing that's left is the number of moles. And by putting in those numbers, okay, I'm not going to show the calculations right here, but after you put in those numbers, you should find out that the number of moles of oxygen is going to be 0 0.1209 moles of oxygen. Okay? And now we can use stoichiometry, apply mole ratio. 
So we have 0 0.1209 moles of O2. And then we simply apply the mole ratio. We have two moles of KNO3 and one mole of O2. So you will get 0.2418 mole of KNO3. Okay? And now you have that many moles of KNO3, then you can simply use the molar mass of KNO3 to find out the mass of KNO3. So you have 0.2418 mole of KNO3. And if you look at the periodic table, you can find out the molar mass of KNO3, which is going to be 101.9 grams KNO3 like this okay so so we can now get the amount in grams so let me do let's use my calculator We have 24.63, 24.64 grams of potassium nitrate. To find out what the percentage is, you simply put that mass, which is the pure potassium nitrate, over this original sample mass, and you will get the percentage. Okay. Now one thing to stress is that the reason why we can do this is because the question tells you we are assuming all of the oxygen is produced by the potassium nitrate and we have 100% yield of the product. If it is not 100% then we will have to take that into account which, will not be dis which it will not be discussed in this problem. Okay.